It's time for left hook, right jab. Next week, Oregon lawmakers will meet for a special legislative session. Governor Kate Brown called the session to consider a relatively small tax break for sole proprietor businesses. She argues those businesses deserve relief after the legislature removed a much broader business tax break earlier this year. That plan is the topic of tonight's left hook, right jab. Welcome to the studio, KXL's Lars Larson and former Portland City Commissioner Steve Novick. Gentlemen, great to have you here. You. Before I give you your question, I want to remind people at home that you get to decide who's winning the debate. Just go to kgw.com slash vote or on your mobile device, go to the vote now tab. And remember, you can vote as many times as you want and change your vote depending on who you think is winning this debate. And now here's your question, gentlemen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is Kate Brown's proposed tax break for these sole proprietor businesses a good idea. We start with Lars. Well, it's a bad idea, and let me tell you why. Governor Kate Brown is the one who raised taxes in Oregon. It'll be a total of about a billion dollars over just the first few years. And that's hitting small business, which is who most of you work for, which means she just finished raising taxes, and now having raised taxes on 260,000 businesses, she proposes to lower them on just 10,000 of those businesses. This is a perfect example of the ineptitude of government, and frankly, Steve, I think that what's going on here is the governor is simply doing something for political purposes. This is window dressing. She knows her tax increase was not popular at all, and now she's decided to give a little smidgen back to see if she can win back enough votes this November to win. My question, Lars, is why should business people like landlords and lawyers get a special tax break that employees like firefighters and nurses don't get? What happened is a few years ago, the legislature created a special tax break for business owners like partners and law firms. Then the Trump administration wanted to have an even bigger tax break for people like that, which the Oregon legislature decided not to adopt. Now the governor wants to extend that tax break to some other folks, like maybe a landlord who makes their money off rental properties, makes a bunch of money, maybe hires one person part-time to help manage the property. Why should they pay a lower tax rate than employees like firefighters and nurses? And by the way, most of the value of this tax break would go to rich people. Over 75% would go to people who make over $200,000 a year. So I agree the governor's idea is bad, and so are yours. Steve, I've got to tell you something. You <laughs> twist things around like this. The fact is the Oregon legislature loved having the Oregon system and the federal system linked together as long as federal taxes were going up. When Donald Trump brought about the first tax reform Form in a third of a century, all of a sudden, Kate Brown didn't want to be hooked to the federal system anymore and allow the same tax break that was so popular across the country, cause businesses to hand out bonuses, to hire more people, to grant raises. She decided to do a disconnect because it put more money in the pockets of government. This government has run us into huge debt. I think she's wrong to have done that. She should have kept the system linked to the federal tax system. Actually, the Trump tax cut is not that popular, and most businesses are using that money to buy back stock and do things that only enrich shareholders. But again, Lars, you haven't answered the question, what do you have against nurses and firefighters? Why should landlords and lawyers get a tax break that nurses and firefighters don't get? I just don't understand that. Steve, I got to tell you something. Nurses and firefighters and every other worker in America is now paying lower tax rates. You're simply feeding out fake information. I, no, Lars. The legislature created a special 7% tax rate for some business owners a few years ago, whereas firefighters and nurses are paying 9%. And the governor wants to extend that 7% rate to a bunch of landlords and other rich people. You, what The taxes you pay should be based on how much you make. There shouldn't be one set of rules for business owners and another set of rules for employees. Employees are important, too. Boy, I think maybe you both agreed, sort of, that it was a, a bad idea, but uh, in different ways. And, well, Lars, you just barely squeaked that one out with 51% to 49%. For a long time, it was 50-50, but you win this one. In this county, that's a win. <laughs> and we will see you next week for Left Hook, Right Jab. Thanks. Tracy? All right, thank you.